My son Max has autism. A lot of people have uh, questions about Max. Uh, people see the videos of Mickey doing averages of 100 with Max. But what they don't know is that these practices, for him, they're just opportunities to improve his social and communication skills. Learning to make eye contact, understanding directions, and most importantly, learning to decipher nonverbal cues. They practice sometimes for hours uh, to learn these basic skills that most of us learn instinctively as young kids or toddlers. These are long behavioral sessions disguised as cubing workouts. And for Max, this is his chance to learn all the things that he didn't get to learn as a toddler. Sometimes people say that Max doesn't get nervous because of his autism. That people with autism like Max don't really understand nervousness or nervous situations like at cubing competitions. Max, he gets nervous. It's just the way he responds to nervousness that's a little bit different than most other people. A lot of times you'll see him practice many hours till his nervousness subsides. That's his way of getting rid of his nervousness. And even then, just like everyone else, he's still nervous when it's time to compete. Strangely, Max finds calm when he's surrounded by other cubers. In a way, he feels a kinship to them as they will understand what it's like to have your whole week or month come down to just a few seconds. Before cubing, Max had such a hard time looking at people in the eyes or even saying hello. Even now, it still isn't easy for him. I know for sure he doesn't mean to be disrespectful. But often it comes off that way. Some people on the autism spectrum will often describe that feeling of someone looking into their eyes as someone who wants to invade their space and take from them without permission. But when he's in a cubing competition, he's much more open to looking at people in the eyes. I think there's an implicit trust with other cubers. If he finds out you're a cuber, he can spend hours talking about algorithms and your averages. We always hoped, but we never thought Max would get to this point. You go from being told that your son has autism and he'll need assistance for the rest of his life, to then him showing us what is possible. and he's taught us much more than we ever thought we would teach him.